how do you take time lapses using the DJI Osmo Action in this video I'm going to show you three methods of taking time lapses using the DJI Osmo Action without further ado there are three ways to take time lapses using the DJI Osmo Action one of them is essentially recording video and just speeding it up but I find this to be the worst way to do it since you're recording all of that footage so it eats up a lot of storage space so I would not recommend using that method to shoot time lapses with especially if you're taking a pretty long time lapse the second method is using the built-in time lapse feature on the DJI Osmo Action it's pretty simple go to the menu go towards the time lapse function there you can set the resolution I tend to shoot in 4k you can set the shutter speed as well as the intervals I tend to use slower shutter speeds to blur the action or blur movement I tend to manually expose the image if you swipe from the right you have the option of taking JPEGs and video as well as video what's good about this time-lapse function is that it builds the time-lapse for you so when you're shooting the time-lapse you have a video waiting for you it's quite easy this method is the option you want to take if speed is your priority and you don't have too much time to spend in post-production now the third way to shoot a time-lapse is by far the best one especially if you have the time to do some post-processing for this method go to the menu go to the picture menu and select timed photos after that you can set the shutter speed as you would do with the time-lapse function so it's similar with this method you have the option of shooting raw and JPEG if you so desire so you can edit those photos in Lightroom later on now one of the other benefits of using this function is the aspect ratio of the time-lapse itself if you use the time-lapse function it will give you a 4k 16 by 9 aspect ratio image by using it this way however you have the option to change the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3 now the resolution you get by using this method is 4000 by 3000 in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio which is slightly just a bit wider than the 4k time lapse but it is much more higher it is much more taller now what that allows you to do is you have a greater degree of panning you can make panning time lapses so i find this method to be the most flexible if you want to change the image later on in post of course this is the most time consuming but if you don't need all those raw capabilities you are still free to shoot in jpeg and you can just import the jpegs later in adobe premiere pro or after effects and you can build your composition there so those were the three ways of shooting time lapses using the DJI Osmo Action. Now if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you. If you think this video is a bit helpful to you, then please subscribe, like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.